Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can connect to a Parrot OS device or machine remotely using SSH. Now, SSH or Secure Shell allows us to connect remotely in a secure manner by encrypting our session. I'm on the Parrot OS machine and I'm just gonna open the terminal. The first thing we'll need to do here is to make sure that we have SSH and it's enabled. Now let me, the command to check that is gonna be system CTL uh, status SSH. So right now it says that it's inactive. You have to start the services. The command to do that, let's do sudo system CTL start SSH. Put in the password and I'm going to repeat the command again. This time it's saying that it's active and running. Now, once we have done verifying that it's active and running, we need to check the IP address here. Use the command IP address. We'll need this address in order to connect to this machine. So I'm gonna be using a Windows machine and I'm gonna be inputting this address. Now open the, um, so you can open either your terminal or your command prompt or PowerShell, depending on what device you're coming from. I'm using Windows 10 and I'm gonna open, the, I'm gonna open PowerShell. And what I need to do is, I'm gonna try and see if I can ping that device. So I'll use ping make sure that it's reachable on the network. And the IP address is right here, 172.16.1.108. And I'm getting replies, so that device is reachable. So I can close this. Now you'll need an SSH client in order to connect to this device. So you can use, again, the terminal whichever tool you want to use to make the connection. So I'm going to use PuTTY. Well, let me open PuTTY here. So this is PuTTY right here. I'm just going to input that IP address again for the host name, 172.16.1.108. The port by default for SSH is 22, so I'm going to leave that. So SSH port 22. And I'm just gonna do, click on open. Now the first time you do this, you might get this pop-up asking you to, it's gonna ask you if you trust that host because it's not cached. So the, the host key is not, it's not cached on your machine. So it's gonna ask you whether you trust that remote device you're trying to connect to. So we have the SSH fingerprint right here. What you need to do here is just click accept. And now you should get this login prompt on PuTTY. And here you just put in your the username and then the password. And there you go. You're able to connect remotely to that device using uh, SSH. And now you can run whatever commands you want to run. So that's that's it for this video. That's how you use SSH to connect remotely to uh, Power OS. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.